Uh, love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. If you're looking for the word that means caring about someone beyond all rationality and wanting them to have everything they want, no matter how much it destroys you, it's love. And when you love someone, you just, you, you don't stop, ever. Even when people roll their eyes or call you crazy, even then, especially then. Doesn't being scared let you know you're onto something important? Yeah. I mean, if you're not scared, you're not taking a chance. And if you're not taking a chance, then what the hell are you doing? You don't give up, because if I could give up, if I could just, you know, take the whole world's advice and, and move on and find someone else, that wouldn't be love. That would be, that would be some other disposable thing that is not worth fighting for. The future is scary, but you can't just run back to the past because it's familiar. Yes, it's tempting. But it's a mistake. Barney, do you know why I'm on the drunk train on Valentine's Day? Because I have nothing better to do. No one I can't stop thinking about. When you meet the right person, you know it. You can't stop thinking about them. They're your best friend. And your soulmate. You can't wait to spend the rest of your life with them. No one and nothing else can compare. Well, love isn't a science. You can't calculate a feeling. When you fall in love with someone, an 8.5 equals a perfect 10. You all have someone who loves you and you're screwing it up. And over what? Who has the most power? That's not love. Love is trusting someone enough to tell them what's really bothering you. So that's what we're going to do. You, start. Look at that. No legal documents needed, just honesty and vulnerability. That's love. I just got dumped. Man, that sucks. Yeah, it's OK. I wasn't that into him. Story of my life. Everyone else is off falling in love and acting stupid and goofy and sweet and insane, but not me. Why don't I want that more? I want to want that. Am I wired wrong or something? Five years ago, you never would have chosen love over your career, but today, you did. It looks like I'm getting dumber. No, <sighs> just more courageous. Tonight, Mike was willing to look like a complete idiot for me, but I couldn't be Gretel. Why can't I be Gretel? Because you just haven't met the right Hansel yet. I, I was finally ready for something serious. He seemed like the guy to take that next step with. How do you do this, Ted? How do you sit out here all night on the roof in the cold and still have faith your pumpkin's gonna show up? Well, I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry my search for true love has been such an inconvenience to you guys. I used to believe in destiny, you know? I'd go to the bagel place, see a pretty girl in line, reading my favorite novel, whistling the song that's been stuck in my head all week, and I'd think, wow. Hey, maybe she's the one. Now I think, I just know that bitch is gonna take the last whole wheat everything bagel. <laughs> just been focused on work. No. It's more than that. Look, I know that odds are the love of my life isn't gonna magically walk through that door in a pumpkin costume at 2.43 in the morning, but it seems as nice a spot as any to just, you know, sit and wait. I stopped believing. Not in some depressed, I'm gonna cry during my toast way. Not in a way I even noticed until tonight. It's just every day I think I believe a little less and a little less and a little less and that sucks. And what do I do about that, Shabatsky? A few nights ago we were talking, you know, we hate girls, we wish we were gay, just guy stuff. <laughs> and we kind of sort of decided to adopt a baby. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. Is it, though? Yes. Well, so what if it's crazy? I've been ready to meet someone to start a family with for a long time now, and I keep not meeting her. Barney is one of my best friends in the world. We rarely fight. And once we iron out the whole pet cobra thing, we will be amazing dads. You're Ted Mosby. 
You start believing again. In what? Destiny? Chemistry. If you have chemistry, you only need one other thing. What's that? Timing. But timing's a bitch. Hey, Hi. Ted, I overheard your little speech. It's not crazy. About 10 years ago, my best friend and I nearly did the same thing. She was single, I was single, we both wanted a family. It made sense. But now, every day, we thank our lucky stars that we didn't do it. Because what she found with her husband and what I found with mine, it was worth the wait. OK, I'm going to say something out loud that I've been doing a pretty good job of not saying out loud lately. What you and Tony have, what I thought for a second you and I had, what I know that Marshall and Lily have, I want that. I do. I keep waiting for it to happen and waiting for it to happen, and I guess I'm just, um, I'm tired of waiting. These past three hours, magical, right? We can do this. Say we can do this. We can't do this. Sorry, dude. We gotta wait for the real thing, no matter how tough it gets. It gets pretty tough. I know it does, buddy. I know that you're tired of waiting, and you may have to wait a little while more, but she's on her way to... And she's getting here as fast as she can. She is out there, Ted! Is she really? Because I've looked. I have looked high and low for someone I can love and adore and cook waffles for. The closest I've come is Marshall. He does love your waffles. It's the cinnamon. I had cinnamon. I mean, shouldn't we hold out for the person who doesn't just tolerate our little quirks, but actually kind of likes them? Even if it means finding ourselves on another blind date with each other seven years from now. Oh, dear God. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> and as hard as it was at the time, in the end, we both got what we wanted. She did eventually go on to live in Argentina and Morocco, Greece, Russia, even Japan for a little while. And I, well, I met your mom. I think for the most part, if you're really honest with yourself about what you want out of life, life gives it to you. I can't shake it. I, I, I can't shake this feeling that nothing about me and Barney makes any sense. But love doesn't make sense. I mean, you can't logic your way into or out of it. Love is totally nonsensical, but we have to keep doing it or else we're lost and, 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 and love is dead and humanity should just pack it in because love is the best thing we do. I mean, the universe is screaming at me right now. How, how, how can you, of all people, tell me to ignore that? Because maybe it's dumb to look for signs from the universe. I mean, maybe the universe has better things to do. Dear God, I hope it does. Uh, Lily. That dude looks nuts. Guys, go with it. Kids, you can ask the universe for signs all you want. It's uncanny. Right? Just like Barney. Amazing. It's like looking in the mirror. But ultimately, <laughs> we only see what we want to see when we're ready to see it. OK, no more dating. I am ready to settle down. And at the time, I probably thought I meant it. But kids, I'll be honest. Being single's fun. As a young, unattached man in New York City, I had a great time. A great time. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I had such a great time that it took someone very special to make me want to settle down. And that someone was Jeanette. Call me crazy, but I'm going to stay here until I get that girl back. Uh, that's what I want. The way Barney feels about Nora, I want that feeling again. I want to be choosing between two girls. I want to be a complete head over heels idiot for one. Yeah, the complete head over heels idiot thing is pretty nice. It's not bad. OK, no more dating. I'm ready to settle down. And kids, for the first time in my life, I really meant it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>